I'm going to be showing you how to get this kind of face wound and this is my first ever time like experimenting with like special effects makeup and I'm not a professional at all I just thought I would kind of play around with the materials that I had at home like toilet paper and lash glue and just some fake blood and like lipstick and eyeliner and create this kind of like a face wound which I thought that some of you guys might want to recreate for Halloween because it's super easy and even though it doesn't look like completely realistic I still think it looks realistic enough and it looks like pretty cool for Halloween. So yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and again like I said I'm not a professional at all I'm just having a bit of fun with this stuff and yeah I found this video really fun to film like it was really fun to just kind of like play around with this and like every time you try it it turns out different. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope you guys found this useful. So what you will need is some tissue paper and the good thing about this tutorial is you can use like things that you will most likely already have so you need some tissue paper or like the, not tissue paper this is like toilet tissue and then what you want to do with it is just peel it you know how it splits into layers you just want to kind of split it in half and so it's kind of thinner and more easy to work with and then to stick it to your face this might seem a bit strange but I'm using eyelash glue because I don't have any liquid latex or anything. If you have like super sensitive skin or whatever then don't use this but to be honest if lash glue is like safe enough to use on your eyes then I'm sure it's perfectly fine to use it on the rest of your face. Start kind of ripping off small little pieces of your toilet tissue that you're gonna like stick to your face. Just kind of apply the lash glue to the area of your skin that you want to put the tissue on and I did this in a kind of oval shape so if you guys can see this I'm sorry about the disgusting close-up of my skin but if you guys can kind of see how I've applied that so then you want to kind of like wait for it to go tacky as a wave of lash glue um, and then basically just start kind of applying your tissue paper but what you want to do is leave a gap in the middle this piece is probably actually a little bit too big so you don't want to make the pieces too wide so that it looks like super unrealistic So this piece is actually probably a bit too big, so I'm just going to rip bits off with my tweezers. Okay, so once you've kind of done that first layer, you can kind of use the glue around the edges just to stick down any little bits that haven't already kind of stuck. If you want this layer, this first layer, to be kind of flat against your skin, so what I'm doing is just taking some more of the lash glue and just putting it kind of around the edges so then what you want to do as this is drying is do another layer but this time you want to kind of stick it on so so only kind of the outer part is kind of stuck to your face and then this bit is kind of like flappy if that makes any sense but don't worry if it all gets stuck down because you can use your tweezers to like break it up later so again you just want to check that all the kind of edges are stuck down so as you can see it's created this kind of little scar and you can take your tweezers and just kind of pull open bits that you want to be open just kind of like make it look as if the skin is kind of coming open so that if you can see from the side it's kind of raised 
So once the glue has dried, you just want to leave that to dry for a bit. You then want to take your foundation and then get a brush and you just want to kind of cover the tissue in this, kind of like blend it into your skin a bit more. And this doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to be covering most of it with fake blood. So I'm then going to take some black gel eyeliner and I'm just going to get a little bit of this on my brush. And I'm using a small little kind of lipstick brush. So you can use pencil eyeliner, you can use liquid eyeliner, you can use black face paint or gel eyeliner. So where the kind of middle of the gash is, I'm going to paint this black. And this is to kind of make it look really deep. So that should look something like this. Then once you're done with that, you can use some red lipstick or you can use red face paint. And you just want to take a little bit of this. And I'm using some red face paint here in this um, Imagic 12 flash colour face palette thing and I will link down below where I got this from um, it took quite a long time to arrive but it's basically, I think it's a dupe for the Makeup Forever um, face paint palette and basically it's got these amazing colours and this was about uh, £10 which is really good value so I'm just taking the red colour in here and I'm going to go over the top of the black with this I'm then going to take my kind of bigger foundation or concealer brush and then I'm just going to kind of dab this around the edges. So I'm then going to take some of my fake blood and it can stain your clothes so be very very careful. And I like to get quite a large amount and you just want to kind of fill in your wound. And then again take some on this brush and kind of dab it around and if you end up kind of flattening it keep opening it up with your tweezers and you basically just want to keep adding it like in and around the wound until you're happy with it and I like to have a bit kind of dripping out and you can add like different colours around this to make it a bit more bruised like you could add some blue or you could add some like black and you can basically just keep layering the colours until you get something that you like the look of. And that is it. So that is it for this Halloween look. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It was just a bit of fun. I know that it's not like completely realistic looking. But I still think it looks pretty cool. And it looks pretty like gross. If you wanted to do something kind of like special for Halloween. Or if you wanted to have like a bit of gore on your face. I don't know. I just thought it would be quite fun to film this for you guys. And I definitely enjoyed filming it myself. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. There will definitely be more Halloween tutorials on the way. And if you guys haven't entered my Halloween giveaway. Make sure to check it out. It will be linked in the down bar below just to make sure that you're up to date with them it would be really cool if you guys would subscribe to my channel and then you will see all of my Halloween videos that are to come because I've got quite a few in mind so yeah let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video bye